Storm Tracker 13's Abby Acone, and we were just hearing our news director complain about the clouds out there. I know. I wish my Storm Tracker powers could somehow hold off on those, but unfortunately, we'll only continue to build those clouds throughout the afternoon. And we're also tracking the chance for some showers. Let's show you what's happened over the past couple of hours to give you an idea of just how cloudy it's been all day long. This is a time lapse from Pikes Peak throughout the morning and throughout the these afternoon hours now, and you can still see some of the snow at the very top has been quite warm enough to really do a lot of melting. And today, yeah, we're sticking with the cloudy conditions, and that's what you can see here from our Buena Vista Neighborhood Weather Network camera as those clouds start to filter in on this Wednesday afternoon. As for your live HD Doppler radar, take a look at the activity that we have seen. The track exactly the way we expected it to go, tracking off to the east, mostly staying the higher terrain. But most recently, we have noticed some showers developing around the Denver metro area and also in the foothills. These will become a little bit more organized and start to become a little bit more strong throughout the evening. As for your sky cast cloudy along the I-25 corridor with some breaks of sun in the eastern plains and take a look at what I mean by the storm becoming a bit more uniform later on. Here 7 p.m. the second half of the evening commute I-25 being impacted by some of those showers so be prepared for uh, the potential for a few wet spots and uh, just a little bit of splashback. A lot of that will be to be tomorrow morning. Here's 1115. We see this bullseye develop between Denver and Colorado Springs, and also this storm focusing its attention on Pueblo through Trinidad. Now, throughout the overnight hours, we're continuing to expect some of those showers, along with some snow, Teller County and Palmer Divide. So by tomorrow morning, Teller County, you could see perhaps just a little bit of snow accumulation on grassy areas, patio furniture, and just a few slushy spots, Monument Hill. So we'll have to monitor how these temperatures fare overnight, as uh, that is the tricky part of the forecast, just watching that to see just what how that will interact with our precipitation. Now, through tomorrow evening, we continue to track this storm as it moves and shifts to the south, and by Friday morning, we could see a few lingering flurries and sprinkles, but for the most part, we'll be all done. Right now, temperatures sitting in the 50s. That's what we're tracking in the eastern plains as well, so relatively comfortable compared to what we had yesterday. But when you factor in the winds, in some areas, we're on the breezy side. Trinidad at 12 mile per hour winds, 14 mile per hour winds for Salida, and we'll only continue to see these winds be a bit blustery throughout the afternoon. <laughs> Lastly, let's break down that seven day forecast. So we are continuing to track this storm through Friday morning. Morning. Saturday, we start to rebound those temperatures to the mid 60s and are mostly sunny skies. Sunday afternoon, we could squeeze out a few sprinkles, but for the most part, dealing with those partly to mostly sunny skies. Monday and Tuesday looking pretty clear, and then once more, we drop those temperatures to the upper 40s, middle of next work week. In Pueblo now, 48 will be tomorrow's high, but we'll track the mid 50s by Friday and rebounding to 70 degrees by Saturday. That sunshine will sure feel gorgeous after a cloudy past couple of days. Monday and Tuesday, that's when we're also tracking some sunshine as well. In Canyon City, 47 tomorrow and mostly a rain event in Canyon City could squeeze out a few flurries overnight Thursday. Daytime temperatures reaching the lower 60s Friday, and then the slight chance for some sprinkles on Sunday too, and then more wet and unsettled weather starting next Wednesday. Finally, for Teller County, 39 is tomorrow's high with the 50s Friday into Saturday. We'll monitor this very carefully. Be sure to check in with Rachel Plath, 4, 5, and 6. She'll be monitoring those current road conditions for you. All right. Thanks, Abby. Yep. Well, you can't see most of it.